Hello guys, in the previous video, we saw how to create an AWS free tier account. In this video, we will be seeing how to enable multi-factor authentication or MFA in your AWS account. So let's get started. So first, let's see what is MFA or multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication is a multi-step account login process that requires users to enter more information than just a password. For example, along with the password, users might be asked to enter a code sent on their mail, answer a secret question, or scan a fingerprint. A second form of authentication can help prevent unauthorized access if a system password has been compromised. Now, Let's see some of the benefits of multi-factor authentication. First is reduces security risk. Multi-factor authentication minimizes risks due to human error, misplaced passwords and lost devices. Second is enables digital initiatives. Businesses use multi-factor authentication to help protect organizational and user data so that they can carry out online interactions and transactions securely. Third is Improves security response. Organizations can configure a multi-factor authentication system to actively send an alert whenever it, whenever it detects suspicious login attempts. This will help both companies and individuals to respond faster to cyber attacks which minimizes any potential damage. So now let's get started to make our AWS account more safer. Let's start enabling multi-factor authentication for logging into our AWS account. Under sign in, please select root user for now and enter root user email address in the given field. Then click on next and enter your password. And click on sign in. So we have successfully logged in to our AWS console. Uh, now we have to navigate to IAM or Identity and Access Management. So we can uh, quickly search it in the search bar given above. So we will write IAM and click on IAM, the first result that we are seeing here. So this is our IAM dashboard. Now we have to, uh, it is already recommending us uh, some security recommendations that add MFA for root user. So we have to do this only. So we will simply click on add MFA. Now it is asking us uh, to give us some details. So we have to uh, enter the device name. Uh, so the device name I am entering is uh, is this. You can uh, enter any uh, any name that you want, but please remember the name. I will do one thing. I will insert a hyphen in place of space. And MFA device is authenticator app because. Uh, we don't uh, we don't have a security key or hardware TOTP token. So for uh, so please select Authenticator app and then click on Next. So it is uh, saying that okay. So I can't use this comma over here. So I will change quickly change my name. And then click on next. Now it's asking us to install a compatible appli application such as Google Authenticator or any other application or on our mobile device or computer. So I will suggest you guys to please go with Google Authenticator and download it on your phone. After you don't after you download it on your phone, 
please click on this show QR uh, show QR code button uh, uh, button and a QR code will be shown here and scan it with your Google Authenticator. So as you can see, I have clicked on uh, show QR code and a QR code is being uh, shown here. So I have scanned it and now I have to enter two consecutive security codes from uh, the Google Authenticator. So I will qu uh, quickly enter it. So I have I have uh, so I have entered two consecutive MFA codes and now we have to simply click on add MFA. So as you can see I have successfully enabled multi-factor authentication for logging into my AWS account. Now uh, let's try to uh, uh, let's try to uh, test the multi-factor authentication that we have set, uh, set up. So I will simply click on sign out then I log back in so uh, I will enter my email id then my password so uh, now you guys can see that it is asking me for me for an MFA code which I have to enter from my Google Authenticator on my phone. So this step was missing before before this uh, video. And if I enter the MFA code, you guys can see that I am able to log in successfully into my AWS console. So yeah, uh, we have successfully enabled multi-factor authentication for our uh, AWS account and our account is now more secure against unauthorized access. Also please remember to keep your MFA device uh, safe and secure as it plays a crucial role in ensuring the security of uh, our AWS account. So thank you guys for uh, watching this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.